I'm Stephanie. Um, I'm Josie Ann White. I'm Aileen Helmer. Uh, my name is Noam, Noam Arba. I'm Keegan Sweetman. I'm Felix. My name is Emma. My name is Una. I'm Ruben van der Mark. I'm Suze Hagman. I'm Isabel. I'm Mara Socaro. From Holland. From The Hague. I'm from Israel. I'm from uh, England, but I've lived in Holland now for 10 years. Uh, I'm from the US. I'm from Holland, from Nijmegen. Well, I'm South Korean. I was born in Utrecht, and that's uh, here in the Netherlands. I'm doing an interdepartmental major in um, cognitive neuroscience and linguistics, and a minor in psychology. I'm doing a double major, so I don't really have minors. They are all incorporated in my double major. So I do, uh, in, I, I do a double major in humanities and social sciences. And in social sciences, I take a class in anthropology and sociology. And in humanities, it's art history and religion studies. I am studying law and political science with a minor in philosophy. My major is social science. Uh, my major is science. I am majoring in um, physics and mathematics and a bit of chemistry. And uh, my minor is in classics, so Latin and a bit of literature. I major in social science and then I take tracks in uh, sociology and psychology, but I also take courses in uh, economics and in history. Anthropology courses, philosophy, um, sociology, politics, um, psychology, and now in my third year I know I'm, go I'm going to major in psychology and sociology. Uh, well, it's especially interesting because uh, my, my main focus is religion studies, but then I'm not very much interested in more the theological side of religion studies, but more the anthropolo anthropological, social, uh, sociological side of it. So that's why it's so interesting to have a double major, because then you can combine the two. And, and then I can still do art history, which is my little hobby <laughs> that I do. It's, actually, art history is my minor, but it just fits so nicely in the double major. It's been fun, um, especially if you don't know which direction you really want to go into. I came to UC thinking I was going to major in literature and philosophy and I ended up in law and political science, which sounds strange, but I think it gave me the opportunity to look into disciplines that I was never interested in and that I am very much interested in pursuing now. I guess it's challenging because um, especially Latin and well, literature and mathematics is such a different way of thinking, but that also makes it really rewarding because you see that um, you get to read text in a different way than someone who, for example, only does literature. I kind of also have the scientific point of view, I like to say, but I don't know if it's true, I hope so. <laughs> so it's rewarding in a way, yeah. No, I haven't, but I will be going to Australia, in uh, Melbourne in Australia next semester. Um, I went to Sydney on exchange to Macquarie University and it was really, really good, really good fun to go to the other side of the world and kind of um, build up a life around uni from scratch. I'm going on exchange next uh, January. I'm going to Santa Barbara in California. I'm going to Washington University in St. Louis. I made very close friends from the very beginning. Very nice people. Small classes and the motivated students that makes like the, the, the academic side of UC so, so important. Communication between all different disciplines. Is the social li life and what happens at UCU. The campus experience has also been something very special that you don't really find anywhere else in the Netherlands at least. The academic part that you can combine so many different fields of study and that you can really see. I learned something in my history class which I can use in my sociology class. That you can really see how all these disciplines are interconnected. The community that we have here, the fact that all students know each other and are together is something that I wouldn't exchange for anything else. It's amazing, truly amazing.